I think across the community services sector, all of them would say housing is their biggest issue. So we have the big organisations like Anglicare doing their rental survey regularly, highlighting, you know, for a person on Newstart, there is no property that is affordable through the private rental market. You know, for a woman on a um, single parenting pension, there might be um, one in a hundred that's affordable. Uh, so if you talk to any community service organisations, housing is the big issue. We have the Council of Homeless Persons um, CEO saying we need long-term housing. Despite all the work we do, homelessness just continues to grow. Getting it recognised as infrastructure as such an important issue that state government and federal government should be investing in is a huge challenge. So I am the admin trainee. I describe myself as the happy little errand girl because I'm happy doing anything that they give me, you know, go get coffees, I'll run, I can get keys cut, I do filing, I can do admin work, I take phone calls. I have a very flexible role because they don't need just one thing, they need help with everything and so I might not have the skill set of someone who's done a bachelor degree but I have had a lot of working experience being working like working since I was 15 you know dropping out of high school to work I have a few skills that I can help and you know make everyone's lives easier here I would definitely love to turn this into a career here I have been diagnosed recently with autism and ADHD and that ha the diagnosis hasn't impacted my work here because they've accepted that I work differently and so they don't question my techniques and manners because I still get the work done and I still give it 100%. It's so welcoming and there's no discrimination. I'm so blown away because there's a lot of the, neurodiver the neurodiversity and the lack of neurotypicalism. They don't necessarily act or behave like a normal person would but they just embrace my quirks and they embrace who I am as a person. I feel welcomed and accepted as a whole, not just for being, you know, the admin worker. I am Phoebe, you know, I am the person. It's so inspiring. It makes me want to stay here and turn this into a career because I can be myself and I can work hard and enjoy my work. WPI started back in 1996. Women who had been working in the community sector, um, but also in government, some of them as financial counsellors, and they had recognised the need for long-term affordable housing for women, housing for disadvantaged women-headed households. So we registered as a Vic with the Victorian Housing Registrar to make sure that the housing we provide is good quality and the service we provide to the tenants is good quality. From when I started, we had 11 properties. We now own, actually own over 80 properties and we manage an additional 100, over 100 properties um, as well. So we really have grown a lot. If there's an opportunity and you can afford to support a, a traineeship program, I think that's fantastic. I mean, we need young people to be coming into our organisations. The vibrancy that young people can bring is, is fantastic. Being able to do it at an affordable rate for our organisation, an organisation that needed additional administrative support, it's, it's a great opportunity, I think, on both sides. All the staff around here are great, <laughs> so I'm not biased, but <laughs> anyway. <laughs> it's terrific, so we can afford it, it's what we needed, um, and it's great for the, for the young person, I think, to get that experience in a supportive environment.